Hi, welcome to your home exercise program. Today we're gonna to go over a quick modification um, to a bird dog. And this is really gonna be for people who are in their coordination or their strengthening phase. Now we are gonna be on hands and knees and extending a leg, but we're not lifting that leg all the way up in the air. We're actually extending it and tapping your toes um, on your mat, floor, bed, wherever you're at. The focus of this exercise is actually to keep your pelvis very level and stable. So if you're struggling with that or know that you have the potential, the propensity to struggle with it, you can grab like a broomstick to put across your back to let you know so you can feel that broomstick move as you are tilting to help kind of um, cue you into keeping your pelvis a little bit more level. You can also use a spouse if you have them around and be like, hey, can you tell me if my pelvis starts to move? Um, but overall, we're working on keeping your pelvis very, st uh, very steady, very stable while your leg is doing its thing. We also want you to really make sure that you're paying attention to your back. We don't want you like rounded over and hunched and we also don't want you like sunk in um, either, which I'll show you here in a minute. Um, if you are in the coordination phase, you are just working on keeping your pelvis stable while your leg is moving and coming back. If you are in the strengthening phase uh, for pelvic floor, then we are adding in an inhale, exhale, squeeze before you are moving the leg. So this is what it looks like from the side. Once again, we're going on hands and knees. Now we are having knees about shoulder width apart, feet neutral kind of behind you. We don't want you once again sunk in or really rounded over. So we're gonna find that neutral spine and sometimes it takes a little bit of wiggle. So find your neutral spine. Once again, if you're in the strengthening phase, you're gonna do a big inhale, exhale and then you're gonna move. But if you are not in that strengthening phase, if you're in coordination, then we're just gonna focus on the next part, which is once again, keeping your pelvis steady as we are moving the leg out and behind us. So we're gonna start moving, we're keeping pelvis steady. We are moving leg out, touching toes, coming back in, okay? You can do a little bit more of a drag to come out if you feel like you are not able to maintain that without wiggling the pelvis. Now, I'm gonna show you everybody's favorite side of me um, so that you can see what we mean by wiggling. So as we are coming from behind, as we are bringing the leg out, we're keeping everything very stable. Most of the time you're gonna have a propensity to tuck the pelvis or you'll have a propensity to tip upwards and backwards on, to get a little bit more weight through that stable leg. Those are all things that we don't want you to do. We want you to keep things very level and stable as you're coming out. And once again, you can do more of a drag as well. But those are things we don't want you to do. So remember, we want everything to be nice and stable as we are going. So if you have any questions or you need help, please let us know. Talk to you soon, friends. Bye.